deal with it. Uh, Wade, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, uh, Ron and Fez. I've got this reoccurring dream of you, Ronnie, cracking Dave in between the eyes with that fucking cowbell. Ow! Oh, my oh. God. Oh, my God, a dream came true. Now he's going to Disney World. His dreams came true. <laughs> Dave, sorry about that. That was him. All right. That's Here's what okay. I was thinking, too. He probably thought that I would do it just by bringing that up. I mean, there's no way to tell if he actually had that dream, but... Right. I'll take I feel word. like we were both manipulated. Uh, next time, maybe act a little more rationally, Mr. B, is all I'm saying. Wait, excuse me? Sorry. What you fucking say? <laughs> really? No, no. No, I'm fucking so glad you grow a set of balls. I want to fucking hear it right now. You want me to act how? Maybe a little more rationally. In what way? Just refrain from the cowbell mm -hmm. because, you know... You know what? I'm glad you came to me. Is there anything else you need me to do? No, change? no, that's it. You sure? No, yeah. No, no. Everything's great. Everything, you sure? Yeah, yes. The way I totally talk great. to you? Everything's fine. Yeah. Everything else is good. Everything is good. All right. Everything's good. I just got to make sure. No, no. I, mean, I act rationally. No, no, no. Because no. I get a little irrational. Just, no, no, no. Just with no, that guy. No. Just with that guy. Yeah. Just with that Leonard from when, when it, wherever that guy was calling from. He's just saying, Ronnie. He's a big boy, Fezzy. Let him talk for himself. Does he look like he needs you to fucking come in here and help him? No. Hmm? No. Earl, you want to get on this? No. Maybe you find me irrational, too? No, he's a grown man. He can handle it. Boy, he talks more and more like a girl, doesn't he? <laughs> no, he's a grown man. Hey, I, I didn't mean to speak out of turn. No, can I do anything else for you? No, can I no. fucking fix your car? No. Straighten your tie? I, Parents sold my car, but I mean, uh, there's nothing you can do for me. What are they going to do with the 300? <laughs> <laughs> so a little more money than that. I'm glad you came to me with this. We all got to know how to treat each other. All right, I'm. I feel a little bit better. I yeah. Mean, you know, I think things are. Will be sure. Good. I mean, the things were always good. So things are good, but you want them to be better. Why not make them perfect? Yeah, I guess so. And just be rational. Uh, maybe a little. Uh, They'd be a little more rational. Uh, no, just, yeah, occasionally. Is this fucking rational? Ah! You know it was coming. You know it was coming. I feel like you pushed me on the rational thing. I feel like you set me up for that. And you know the bad thing, Fuzzy? What's that? Now I look like the animal. In the eyes of the listener, or in this case the ears, I come across as a guy who's irrational. <laughs> Well, that guy had to be bruised. Uh, Steve, you're on a Fez. Hey, yeah, I wanted to find out who Fezzy went on his cruise with. Did he go with somebody, or did he just wander around that big ship all by himself? He went with Rosie O'Donnell. It's nobody's <laughs> fucking business. Uh, Matt, you're on a Fez. Yeah, uh, Fez, I thought you were multiphobic. I can't imagine you on a cruise. You know, those things sink. Well, Fez's thing is to... Only have the phobia when it's time for conversation. I thought I would be freaked out more than I was, and I was really fine on it. You didn't get seasick at all? Yeah, I did get seasick. The second day out there, I got seasick. Just one day? Yeah, just one day, and then I got over it. Did you go in the pool? Because that's supposed to fuck with your head a little bit as well. No, I didn't you go... You go in the pool on a, on a cruise. I Why? didn't... Because the, the, it makes no sense. Like, the water is all around you, but you're not in that body of water. You're in a pool. Why would that freak you out? I just... Uh, you just, ever been in a pool with the ocean? I don't fucking I'm send never, you into anything. I'll never go on a cruise, just for that reason alone. What? Because, I would, because the pool's supposed to make you go insane if you do that. Or something mental is supposed to happen what to your brain. What could possibly happen mental? There's a humongous ocean around. Yes, but you right. can't swim in that. You, you, right, so exactly. they put in a pool. And so when you're in the pool, your brain's all fucked up because why? how am I in water but not in that ocean that I'm looking at? You can figure it out. It's a different fucking thing of water. You acting like we have no opportunity to use logic with our brains. Well, the brain is a complex organism. Sometimes logic can't... Well, mine is. I don't know if yours is. <laughs> I'm going to say yours is as fucking simple as uh, asparagus. So you're saying that if someone goes in a pool on a cruise ship while it's out at sea, they're going to think they're in the ocean and freak? 
they're going to freak because they they know they're not in the ocean, but they're in a big body of water. So that's going to make them say, well, how the fuck is this possible? Here's how it's possible. The boat is so big it can have a pool, and you <laughs> dive in that. This is not something that can't be figured out. Test it out. Try it out. I, I fucking swam in pools on cruise ships. You have? Everybody does. The place is packed. You shoulder to shoulder, fucking balls to balls in that thing. You couldn't get in this pool on the cruise ship I was on. And I guarantee you all those people probably have some illnesses or something's wrong None. with them. None. Your guarantee is lost. Why don't you fucking bet a tattoo for the other arm? <laughs> Carnival Cruise Line. Do you just make this shit up to get airtime? No, I swear to God. Nobody would be dumb enough to think that a human being, an adult male, would flip out because he was in a pool and could see the ocean. I have heard... I'm Earl's probably heard this before, too. Someone has what heard this. What about this? I take you out uh, into the desert, but I put in a sandbox. <laughs> that would that would drive you fucking <laughs> well, crazy. Well, listen, I can't... You know, I don't speak on the behalf of deserts, but I do know... That that would probably be just as tricky. Yes. Yeah. So that whole. What about this? You have a glass of water when you're out in a boat. Oh my God! How could this be? It's not that. It's the body physically is in water, and yet the brain's saying, "But you're not in the ocean." Right. You that, don't see you how these... that's weird. No. I mean, I'm not making this up. You I don't... don't see how people can get mentally fucked up because of that. If you honestly believe that, you're fucking ridiculous. I'm... If you would think. That a person would snap, that their psyche would fucking bend because they were in a pool on a boat. I don't know where to begin here. Right. Have you ever heard of the bends? Yes. Right? Because when people go too da far down the ocean, yes. they start panicking and everything. No, it is not about up. panic. Well, it's about it? fucking pressure. The bends have nothing to do with panic. No, I pre I thought it was that if you're down far in the water, your brain starts to say, "Wait a second, why am I so far down here?" And then you actually get you fucked are up physically. Fucking retarded, and I'm not fucking kidding. <laughs> a, you don't know what the bends are. B, you think that people panic all the time and can't answer questions that are answerable. Like if you were that far under the water and your brain said, "What the fuck am I doing all the way down here?" You would answer yourself. Oh, yeah, scuba diving. That's what I'm doing down here. <laughs> Not me. Not me. I would I would suddenly, I guarantee you there's cases of this where people would suddenly say, why am I down here? And if your brain is that strong, it will physically start a reaction that will close down different organs. If your brain is fucking strong, it's going to fucking answer your question, which is, would be scuba diving. But here's the thing. Ben's... Is the fucking pressure. It has nothing to do with panic. Well, that's... Okay, if you insist on that, I'll go with you. What, what, wait a minute. Why would people come up that they stop at certain fucking places and get used to the new pressure? Right. Oh, I didn't think that's about that. That's how your brain can look around and go, Oh, look, I'm not down as deep now. Well, I was totally misunderstood about the bends, but my pool theory on casino boats is still accurate, I think. But everybody is in the fucking... Everybody that goes on those places... Because you're out in the sun, uses the pole. No one ever goes crazy. Time will tell. Time will tell about how the effects are going to achieve. You're just trying to annoy me. No, I'm not. You know what? You are, you pale next to Al Dukes. <laughs> Al Dukes would come in here, play the guy that you love to hate, and people would enjoy it. You play the guy that people hate to hate. I'm not. This is a fucking hate to hate bit. No, it's not really. It is. I'm just telling you what I heard. You never heard this from anyone. I did hear it. Who? Is it I, your brother both? again? No, this one isn't my brother, but uh, I'm always on the internet, and I look up things, and I see blogs and different stories. All you do on the internet is try to talk young girls into telling you what they're wearing. What color are your panties is every fucking question. Uh, here's Crotch Critter. You're going to run a fez. Hey, boys. How's it going? Uh, Dave, I, I, I got to call you out, man. You're a retard about the bins. I'm a diver, and the, the bins, which is commonly referred to as nitrogen narcosis, is basically when you go down uh, deep and you come up too fast, the nitrogen in your system leaches out into your veins, and your brain doesn't get enough oxygen. So you got to slowly come up, right? Right, exactly. It's a decompression time, basically. You have to just slow it down and, and bring it up, you know, you have like certain uh, decompression depths you have to go to. Now, at any time of you diving, do you say, what the hell am I doing down here and find yourself in a blind <laughs> panic? 
uh, no, that's just, that's actually what's called spatial disorientation. That's when you start moving around a little bit too fast and you, you lose your equilibrium. You don't know up from down and everything. Uh, one question, Cross Career. You did say, though, that it affects your brain, right? Well, it affects the oxygen not level. Not your mind, your system, but that's my no. point. Maybe they are related. They're it, not related. But, no, I mean, anybody not. who's going through a physical thing could find themselves panicking. But you're saying panic drives these fucking body to shut down. That's not what's well, happening. Maybe. What if that's the first telltale sign of what's going on? Like the that the, the brain is panicking may be the first telltale sign. No. Stop it. You, BCH, you're on my fuzz. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah. You know, once I went to a place that had a big pool with a swim-up bar, and I was in the pool, but I had a drink, and it fucked me up for months. Oh, no. One time, yeah, it was horrible. One time I was ice skating, but I was eating an Italian ice, and I don't know what the not. seriously I didn't know what the fuck was happening. <laughs> no. I didn't know what I was doing. And see now you're just taking my no scenario. Seriously, I went crazy. No, you're it's taking too much my, ice. Yeah, you're just taking my scenario and and flashing it up in the sky. Is and that another what time I went to Yankee Stadium, and it was ball day, and I'm watching the game, but I got a ball, and then I just go, what the fuck? Am I in the game? <laughs> What do I do? What the fuck do I do? And then my brain says to me, "That's ah, not. You're that's ridiculous. not what I was trying to say." You're fucking ridiculous, uh, Chris. Sean Ronnie Fez. Yeah, Ronnie. I would like to know what college Dave went to so I can mark him off my daughter's list because he is a fucking idiot. Monmouth University, one what? of the best communication programs in America. Yeah, that's why you're yeah. sitting here making fucking minimum wage. <laughs> Have her take cruise ship <laughs> physics. It's got to it's got to be something else. It's a great school, let me tell you something. And we have uh, myself, and that's right, really, I'm the only, I guess, famous alumni. The only, uh, famous? <laughs> sure. You came up with the pool ocean theory. Hey, by the way, did anybody see that thing of Robot Einstein? No. Do not look at it. It is, it'll fucking freak you out. What is Robot Einstein? It's a fucking robot, but it looks like Einstein. Mm -hmm. Wow. Sick as shit, <laughs> this world of ours. Was it made by the Japanese? Yes. These who else? fuckers. They yeah. love the robots. They are so far ahead of us in robotic technology. Oh, yeah. We're fucked. The few, just hope you die before the robots take over. Oh, I, I'm, I've been praying that like every night that I'm dead. I pray every night that you're dead too. Every really? night I go like this. Jesus, please come and stab him. Well, don't do it like that. And, and I'll go, I'll, I'll even take Pantera's devil, Jesus. I don't like that at all. Patrick, you're on Fez. Ron, you're out of your fucking mind with mm -hmm. this pool thing. I, I can't believe you've known Dave this long and you think he can figure it out. Yeah, I He's know. He's a fucking idiot. And, and you're out of your mind for giving him that much credit. But here's what really gets to me. And you heard me have a little meltdown as the show started today because these fucking two guys were out hanging in trees and fucking dove on me as I came in. I can't go on anymore. I cannot do this show. I asked Dave, I said, make up a list of people, and this is to replace me so Fez will have someone. He gives me one name, Henry Winkler. Not okay. doing the show with Henry Winkler. Henry Winkler ain't doing the show with you. <laughs> Then we're agreed. Tim, you're on Fez. Hey, buddies. Yeah. Hope you have a better day tomorrow. Listen, I'm pulling for Dave. I don't know, he's my favorite little retard. He makes me laugh. Give the guy a little bit of slack. So he doesn't know any better. He's from Jersey. What do you expect? I love the way that he gets these crazy ideas and then he defends them. Tooth and nail, he defends them. Because they're out there. Because there's there's some reasoning behind it. That I think even Crotch Critter backed up with the fact that the bends equals your brain or affects your brain. And my thing is the brain makes you scared and, and causes the bends. It's almost pretty much the exact same formula. Nothing like it. Brain bends. Well, I, we just have different things on. You no, know, it doesn't work that way it's at all. It's not even close. The brain passes out. The brain doesn't go into overload and start panicking. Matt, you're on a fez. Hey, Dave. This one time I was at a ball game, and the girls came along with the T-shirt cannons, and I caught one. The only thing was, I was actually wearing a T-shirt, and I shit myself. Oh, man. You must have been freaked. That's... It was awful. 
Not exactly what I was talking about, Matt. Not that. That's not it. Seriously, one time I went to a volcano, but I was eating a big bowl of soup. And then I go, wait a minute, am I eating a volcano? Oh. And my brain shut down. <laughs> if you got a brain bigger than a pea, I'll give you a buck. Oh, I guarantee it. Take I it out. <laughs> what? Take that fucker out. You can't do that without dying. No, no. Is that another one of your theories? You actually got red circles under your eyes today. I don't know how you're doing it. You, I don't know, your eyes look like two assholes staring at me. It's fucking scary. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, hi, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Who's this? Hey, it's Chris. Yeah, what's up, Chris? Um, I completely agree with Dave. One time I was riding up an escalator, and there were stairs right next to me, and my mind said, what the hell am I doing? The stairs move? My mind started saying this to me. Fine. Keep on laughing it. But uh None of us are laughing. We're just annoyed. Okay. I'll do uh whatever. Look, we all have our, our beliefs. That's my belief. I'm pretty sure mine's correct and I'm sticking to it, you know? It makes perfect sense to me. Well, what what is your confusion about beliefs? Do you think that's a religious fucking Dogma that you're spouting out here? No, but what I'm saying is, if I truly believe that, you know, I'm but in a What beliefs pool, do you think that me and Fez have? What odd beliefs? You're saying we all have them. Well, you guys are more pragmatical and have a very rigid, I would say, scientific outlook, whereas I'm more uh, intro... You can, you can go into a cruise ship pool and no, I think, freak out. I yeah, think, I think our I'm... Our experiments of saying <laughs> half the planet has already done it. <laughs> I'm just saying the Without brain is one problem. We have case studies to back ours up. I'm just saying there's more of a. I tend to view things more in a psychological manner and think the brain has a lot more hold over the human uh, species than you realize. It's not fun. I mean, fine. Species? You know? I'm laughing seeing that you were stuck in that fucking cul de sac of <laughs> fucking gibberish and had to come up with the term species. Well, uh, man. Which is a mammal. <laughs> <laughs> Homo sapien. And you and Fez watch the same scientific TV shows, right? Yes. What is it yours? Fucking black and white? How are you getting so confused? He must be watching them with the sound down. Or his back to the TV screen. I usually have a magazine or what a comic book while I'm watching Discovery. I have a feeling what you guys call Discovery, I call male porn. <laughs> Got to discover something. Speaking of comic books, I wanted to thank uh, Joe Kermanga. If I'm not saying it right, Kermanga. That's how it is. Kermanga. For uh, the comic book he sent us, Model Operandi. And I read this over vacation. Excellent, excellent comic. Great characters in it. Great story. And Joe uh, certainly likes to draw breasts. Because every female character in this uh, comic book has gigantic tits <laughs> in it. So, And I guess we also got mention on ComicCon.com for uh, mentioning Joe's book, Model Operandi. Well, maybe they'll mo mention us again for you mentioning them again. <laughs> so, And you can pick up Model Operandi at AHPcomics.com. What's Joe's last name? name? Karamanga, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he said it rhymes with lasagna, but I can't... Carzanja? <laughs> I'm not able to say that either. He's just going to have to get a pen name if he wants to keep making comic books. He's called Joe. Yeah, no one forced him. <laughs> <laughs> no one was screaming, What's his last name? What's his last name, damn it? If I could have just gotten it out smoothly in the first place, everyone would have just <laughs> today not before, noticed. I don't think I don't think anyone was buying Carmango. Today before the show, Fez tried to tell us that his local TV newscaster was Gail Sayers. <laughs> <laughs> that was another name I uh, screwed up. It's Gail Sirens. Gail Sirens. Uh, here's uh, Tim. Tim, you're running Fez. Hey, I wanted to defend Dave because uh, I was videotaped and I was actually on the TV while I was watching the TV. <laughs> My brain nearly exploded. Wow. One time I was at a barber shop <laughs> when there was a mirror in front of me and a mirror behind me. Then it just kept going on and on. 
Well, I think that's actually more akin to what I'm saying. And finally, my brain made me rape. I didn't say anything about rape. It, yours, it's a fucking... Every time you speak into a mic, it's a cry for help. Oh, no. It's literally a cry for help. I don't want any help, then. It's like talking <laughs> with David Berkowitz. What year is this? If someone tells me 77, I'm going to fucking call the police right now because I believe I have Son of Sam here. <laughs> We're closing in on 07. It's coming up in a few months. I do like dogs, but that's where it ends, Mr. B. You like dogs? Yeah. I didn't know you were a dog guy. Fucking A. I'm a humongous dog person. <laughs> I didn't know, know they were measured that way. Oh, yeah. I well, love every single dog in the pl face of the planet. I just Cujo. love dogs. You love don't them. think that the dicks taste salty? <laughs> I don't do anything <laughs> sexual with them at all. But, uh, and another thing is, dogs really do love me, too. I'm like St. Francis the of ass? a sissy. Of the no. St. Francis the sissy. No, of a St. Francis of a sissy. Of a sissy. And you rest my balls over Karamanga. It's not a sissy, you fucking sissy. Keep moving on. So what is it with you and animals? Well, I mean, just with specifically dogs, I they really do love me. Whenever they see me, they jump on me, and I love them back. Maybe they smell your dog. That's possible. West Side. Oh, oh man, that's me. <laughs> see this? I know, that's me. See, I like like when we talk about her abstractly, but you're actually saying... <laughs> I know. Oh, I should have named her. The ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, yeah. Oh, too far. <laughs> yeah, when we go too far. I like to keep a little distance <laughs> from him, because he does have I fucking... I don't joke West Side <laughs> and murder her. You know what I hate about Claire, <laughs> your girlfriend? <laughs> Oh, too far. Sorry. She never <laughs> listens to us, huh? No, thank God. That uh, my, over the my break, she, uh, Dave said that she tried to call me, crying, yeah. begging that he not get this tattoo. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, but I put the veto down. Please do not call Ron. He will fucking kill me and maybe even kill you. Is what I told her, and she believed me at that point. But I mean, so yeah. is that why she looks so frightened when she sees me? <laughs> yeah. I said, don't call him. Do not call him, because she was saying, please, I can't have you getting another tattoo. She doesn't really like any of my tattoos. She's I, not a big Pig Floyd fan. My point is, what's it matter now? You're just covered you know, in ink. You know what's odd? I am a Pig Floyd fan, and look, not one tattoo. <laughs> How'd you pull that <laughs> off? I guess I went to different concerts than Dave. <laughs> I went to the 94 Pulse concert. <laughs> Anyway, so then she said, uh, please don't do it, and she was absolutely hysterical and begging, I'm calling Ron, I'm calling Ron, I'm calling him immediately. Maybe we can work something out. Uh, how so? Mm, who knows, it's between me and her. Oh, do no. yourself a favor, don't even ask her. <laughs> no, 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 I, I seen that Woody Harrelson uh, yeah. red for When she <laughs> comes home, just wipe the lipstick <laughs> off her face yeah. while you're crying real hard. <laughs> <laughs> The indecent proposal over no tattoo. I know that'll be the last I see of her, too. She'll be... This fucker will be running up trying to stop the helicopter. Wait! Wait! <laughs> Only I'll just be getting a blowjob behind a liquor store. It's just a, a much cheaper version of that. <laughs> she wouldn't do it in public, not after our arrest. She'll never do that again, let me tell you. Uh, Jason, you're on a fez. Yeah, Ron. Uh, one time I was making some mac and cheese while this uh, French slut was blowing me, and oh, Bobby Flay was on the TV. It was fucking crazy. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Cappy. Yeah. Cappy, let the floodwaters come in. Oh, so you're blaming Fez now? Well, I mean, I, I love my captain, but he just. This went isn't right my fault, and I didn't do a sex joke. I did a dog joke. <laughs> you called her a dog. <laughs> what did you? What was your joke? Uh, and dogs love him. And I said, what, son? Oh, for some reason I had that her fucking a dog <laughs> in there, too. I don't know why I heard it that way. That's my, heard, hey, that's my mistake. I heard anal, too, when you Yeah, did. I heard anal, too. I thought that she was getting banged in the ass by a dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, I told her better than I thought I did, then. Maybe we just hear what we want to at yeah. this point. Hey, you still thinking about getting married to her? Oh, yeah. That's, that's a definite at this point, I think. I guarantee you, three or four years, we'll get engaged. That's an absolute <laughs> guarantee. Will she wait that long? Yeah, she will. What other options does she have? <laughs> Where is she going to go after he ruined her? <laughs> I can't imagine 
<laughs> Who else would want to marry her now? I hope they honeymoon on a cruise ship. Yeah. And she loses her mind in the pool on their honeymoon. I mean, getting banged from, like, uh... By Dave is like fucking DDT poisoning. It <laughs> nothing is going to grow there again. Listen, the other day she actually told me I fucked like a champ, quote unquote. That was the other day. You know the truth is that's yeah. fucking really nice compliment because look how many guys she's fucking banked. So I mean you're you're at the top of a peak of maybe hundred hundred and fifty. <laughs> no, I think way to go, champ. Probably one and maybe two. Still not sure about that. No, she probably said you fuck like a chef. <laughs> I heard champ. <laughs> I heard champ. Again, we only hear the what CH. we want to. Did you make her say that? No. Did you make her call you Big Cheese? No, I said maybe I'll let you win a few games at Mario Kart if you give me a compliment at the end of our session. But, I mean, she had to come up with whatever she had to come up with on her own. So when she sat there... Then she went, you fuck like a champ. Yeah. I Not fucked. My... I fucked. She doesn't tell me that at the end of every session. Usually she stays very quiet and gets dressed. <laughs> but this time I really did no, think I did no, well. No, is she a dirty talker? No, I try to make her that. Yeah. But she doesn't really listen, you know, except for the big cheese stuff from, from time to time. She will say big cheese? Yeah. Yeah. Big she cheese. a moaner? Yeah, she does do that. But, I... you know, I've always said, just say, you know... Fuck my pussy. I mean, it's uncomfortable right. saying that right now, but right. just say fuck my pussy. Do the impression like of what you want her to say, and we'll just listen. Okay. Fuck my pussy, Dave. Fucking hard. Fuck me, fuck me. I like pussy. Fuck my pussy. She says that, though? And I like pussy and twat. Twat. <laughs> fuck my twat. <laughs> I think it's a very sexy word. Twat. It yeah. sounds like like a fucking... It's a pussy fart sound. What? <laughs> no, I don't see that at all. I see it very sexy. So, fuck my pussy. Fuck it. Fuck, fuck my twat. And she calls it kitty, so. Fuck kitty. <laughs> Fucking hot. She sounds like an old lady. <laughs> oh, Dave. Dave. <laughs> Oh, that's the impression. Uh, Tom, you're on Fez. Hey, guys. Yeah, Dave, you know, I was soaking in the tub, and then I drank a glass of water, and I thought I was drowning. That'll happen. People are making fun of you. I don't know why. For your, no one can swim in a pool on a cruise ship line. Even those cruise ships with, like, eight to ten pools now. Well, they're, they're very hazardous, those pools, let me tell you. Uh, Dave, you're on Fez. Oh, my God, I'm listening to the radio, and I'm on the radio. Your brain's oh, going to make I you do? go crazy. Your brain is going to get you. You're going to get scrambled. Stay off of a cu uh, cruise ship. There's reverb in that, sir, so that's a much different thing. I'm you don't let her listen to the radio anymore, right? No, no. I have said to I said Don Wicklin's going to give you a MiFi, and I mm -hmm. just lied, basically. Smart. Yeah. Very smart. And I hope he you know, never gives it to her. Because she can't hear this. <laughs> We're talking about gives it to her. You know, he's also uh, certified chef. Oh, he went right. to the American Culinary Institute. That's right. I forgot about that. Or Culinary Institute of America, I guess it is. One of the biggies, at least. The biggie. Oh, the one? Yeah. Well, Don, don't, you know, give Claire the MiFi and just maybe... Should better not to... Chef's hat and MiFi under his arm. Be best not to meet at all. Mateo, you're on Fez. Hey, uh, we put a potted plant in my treehouse, and my girlfriend wanted to fucking this guy named Brett from work. You had to bring it back to Brett, didn't you? I was getting oh, over yeah. him, too. I it hadn't thought terrible. about Brett in six weeks. Do you even know his last name? What? Brett. No, I've forgotten it. Do you still bring Do you ever bring him up to her? No. Did you demand to know everything? How they met? How it started? Uh, I demanded to know, and then when she said that he's not working any anymore, I asked a few more questions, and then they stopped hanging out, quote-unquote, and they stopped, you know, going out By for By hanging drinks. out, she was talking about his...